Greetings everyone. I saw this comment and I got very happy it is written and I want to read the passage. So I do want to say thank you to Semi Bay. I hope I said that right. And let's get into it. This is going to be in Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11. I'll be reading this out from the New International Version, also known as the NIV. I also do want to say there is no correct scripture out there because all scripture has been leavened out. So it would be a good idea to read a variety of them. But I don't want to get into that right now. I just want to get to this passage, which is really cool. Okay, here we go. Then the Messiah was led by the Spirit, the set-apart Spirit, into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil, Hashatan. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of the Mighty One, I'll say the Son of the Father of Heaven, tell these stones to become bread. The Messiah said, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Father. Then the devil, Hashitan, took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of the Father, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written, this time Hashitan is using scripture, he will command his angels concerning you. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. The Messiah answered him, it is also written, Do not put your master, your father of heaven, to the test. Again, the devil Hashitan took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. I will give you, he said, if you bow down and worship me. Ooh, that is not right. Come on, Hashitan, the, the Father created everything. The Messiah said to him, Away from me, Hashitan! For it is written, Worship the Master, your Father of Heaven, and serve Him only. Then Hashitan left him, and the angels came and attended him. Whoa, that was a beautiful story. I love all of the scripture passages. But I do want to share something why it's important to have the set apart spirit when reading scripture. Because the set apart spirit whom the Christians call Holy Spirit is also our teacher and comforter. And what you know I learn with the set apart spirit is each each um thing that Hashatan said was cardinal. You know, like the, turning the rocks into bread for food and, you know, falling, if he falls down to call out upon the Father so he doesn't get hit, that's physical. And also the third one, you know, cardinal things, you know, pleasure, everything is like for the flesh, pretty much to put, like, um, like the first one is feeding the flesh, second one is to protect the flesh, you know, from falling. And then the third one is, you know, pleasuring the flesh. You know, it's all fleshy stuff. You know, that's the that's the devil stuff. But the Messiah responded with very spiritual things. Like, yeah, you don't eat with the physical bread. There's also the bread of life, the word of the Father of Heaven. The second one is don't test the Father of Heaven. Yes, you could test the Spirit, but don't test Him to do things for you. It's not going to be right, you know. The Father could test us, but for us to test Him, hmm... No. Also, um, remember the book of Daniel, where Daniel he says, "If the Father of Heaven, if He saves us, and we, and we're not burned in the flames, and we're not burned, but if He does burn us, we will still not worship, you know, whatever Nebuchadnezzar, whatever he was telling them to do. See, they didn't even test the Father of Heaven." So, and the third one where, you know, to bow down, you know, people sell their souls, right, to 
get you know to be worshipped. But he was saying that to the master, the Messiah, the Father, where the Father created everything. You know that just baffles me to show how cardinal, you know, Hashatan is. But other than that, I hope everyone enjoyed. It. I'm sorry I dragged this video long again. And until the next video, the Most High willing, Hallelujah.